Hello everyone, Richard Kennedy here. Hope all of you are doing well. My goodness, another church burning, this time in Paris, France, Notre Dame Cathedral, uh, built somewhere in a, like the 1100s, and it was over 800 years old. The, uh, this, is a, this is a trial. Um, this is the trial of the church, folks. Like I've been saying before, this is the trial of the church, and the trial is by the, uh, the devil. It's by Satan. Uh, this is to test the church, it's to test the faith, basically, uh, of the churches. I mean, it really is. In fact, if you take a look at um, 1 Peter uh, chapter 4, starting with verse, um, verse 11. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praised and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you and me, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Same with verse, uh, excuse me, with uh, chapter 4. It's 1 Peter chapter 4. Skip on over here to um, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Verse 17. For the time has come, that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. It doesn't matter how you look at it, whether it be um, arson or whether it, uh, you know, be um, an electrical fire or something, or, you know, some type of uh, electrical fire break out or something. It doesn't matter. It's a trial of the church, period. It's a trial of the church. And I'm going to read this right here. This is uh, something that I uh, found online, oh gosh, like three years ago. The rise in belief of the pre-tribulation rapture often is often wrongly attributed to a 15-year-old Scottish-Irish girl named Margaret MacDonald, who was of the first to receive a spiritual baptism under a Pentecostal awakening in Scotland. In 1830, she supposedly had a vision of the end of times which describes a post-tribulation view of the rapture that was first published in 1840. It was published again in 1861. But two important passages demonstrating a post-tribulation tribulation view were removed to encourage confusion concerning the timing of the rapture. The two removed segments were, this is the fiery trial, which is to try us, church. It will be for the purging and purifying of the real members of the body of Jesus and the trial of the church is from the Antichrist. It is by being filled with the Spirit that we shall be kept. The trial of the church is going on now. Again, it doesn't matter if it's arson or if it doesn't matter if it was an electrical fire. Fact is, the church burned. What are the people going to do? Right now, in the case of you know First Baptist Bossier, three churches down in South Louisiana that recently burned. That was arson. And now Paris, France. You know, they've got almost a billion dollars to rebuild. How are the people going to come together? Those, if it was a part of arson, God will take care of it. But the point is, the churches will rebuild. So no matter how you look at it, the fire is of Satan. It's of devil. It's a trial of the church. Doesn't matter how you look at it, the church will be rebuilt. It will be a positive, so there's no need to look at it. Like I said, if it's a, uh, if it's arson, those person or those people will be caught. 
they will be brought to trial. If not in the flesh, they will come their time when they have to meet God at the gate. Right now, folks, the shirt I'm wearing, it is time for each and every one of us to put our swag on. We need to swag it now, and that means surrender, worship, always, God, now. I'm praying for each and every church. In each and every person, which is the body of the church. Keep your faith. Religion is awesome. Religion is great. But faith is of importance. It's the most important. Keep your faith. Keep it strong. Keep hope alive. And we all will succeed. We will be able to extend another tribulation time, another period for 1,000 years. But we're being tried right now. Because we the people, as I've said again many times, we the people are destroying we're destroying ourselves. We're destroying this planet. I always used to pick with my kids. I said, I know when it's time to get serious. I was a baseball player. Whenever I turn my hat on backwards, that means I'm getting serious. So it's time we all take our hats off the way we've been wearing them. It's time to turn them backwards like I, like I have now, or I don't care if you put it sideways like you see in some baseball games, whatever it takes. We need to change our hats. We need to turn them around. And in my case, it's turn around backwards because I'm serious. My swag is on. I surrender and I worship always God. And we all need to do it now. God bless each and every one of you from Louisiana. The saints love you. God bless.